Yeah, we, I think we just made adjustments on the sideline um, after every time we came off the field. And then on those drives where we, we got a, we got them off the field, I think we did a good job of finishing the plays, you know. The other drives just came up, you know, an inch here, an inch there, a step here, a step there, finishing that play. So I think that's what it was. Is that a, is that a I don't know, I don't want to say is that a thing that worries you guys moving forward on defense, the fact that your team can do that? Or, or you kind of said that you feel like you guys still, you know, yeah. defend it well. Yeah, I mean, we, we got a lot, of a lot of stuff to clean up from this game, but... Like I said, you know, we were right there in position to make the plays. So, I mean, it's good knowing that we were right there. Now it's just working on finishing and, you know, maybe even starting a little better, too. Tra trailing going into the fourth quarter. That's mm -hmm. the second time Florida State, too, on the road. Mm -hmm. go losing going into the fourth quarter. You know, what's to say about this team that you guys really needed this one? You're able to come back and pull it out. Yeah, we knew that we were in that situation before, and we never um, lost belief in each other, and we just leaned on each other when it came down to that situation. What did that, what did Ronnie Lott say? basically told us, you know, be great for each other. And, you know, we remembered that, and that's one thing that our team does a really good job of doing. You know, we're a family on and off the field, so I think that's what it was tonight. Did you guys, so you guys did kind of take that to heart a little bit? Mm -hmm. kind of use that tonight? Yeah, we, we definitely did, I'd say. So you got, you got that sack, that third down sack. Like a defense, you guys feel you, you made one play, basically, that was sort of turning things and give your offense a chance to go with the position. Yeah, we're um, we're looking for that spark for the defense. You saw you saw what happened in the first half, the second half. It was going their ways, but um, every time we came to the sideline, we were just looking for that spark. How tough was that to kind of take? I mean, you guys obviously put yourself in on being a good defense, but they're moving the ball pretty well, and you know, the quarterback group is 400 plus. What, what was it like for you guys? And what do you take walking away from this? Um, give credit to San Jose. Their offense is like tremendous. They got receivers, they got running back, they got a good old line. Um, I feel like that was one of the best offenses we played, and they're very well coached. So just um, taking that into taking that aspect is what um, we see. I asked Nick all what to say about you guys to be, be down in the fourth quarter and be able to pull this one out. Um, it just goes back to practice when we bring it in fourth quarter, eighth, um, fourth quarter. We bring it in. Coach Harson gives us a little speech, and we get back to practice. But it's just that's just the little thing we do to get um, set up for our fourth quarters in the game. I mean, you guys really couldn't afford to lose this one. I mean, yeah. I, just to, to all the adversity and to be down and come back, I mean, you have to feel pretty good about this. Um, yeah, we uh, we don't want to lose no game, so we took this 1-0. We're going to take this, celebrate for the next 24 hours, and move on to next week. How good did that sack feel? It felt good. Um, the windows weren't there for me in the beginning of the game. Talking to Love the whole game. He's, he's messing around too much, and it just felt good. Was he talking back to you quite a bit? Oh yeah, he from um he went to school with DeAndre in Long Beach, yeah. so we got that down the street connection, and he was just talking like we were just talking back and forth. It was a good talk though. With, with, but I mean, with, with with the defense, you know, obviously you know, a lot of people say you know San Jose State had won three games in two years before this. We look at the, they look at that score, and people are like, "What happened?" I mean, what, what do you guys take walking away from this? And, and and what do you say to people that are like, "Well, that was San Jose State. Boise State should have beat them out, whatever." Uh, you got to just give them credit. They, they're they very well coached. They came back this year. Something like um, when Fresno went like, what, 0 for 12, and then they came back and they just went to the championship. So I feel like um, everyone in the Mountain West is doing great um, now. We're being power five teams. Everyone's putting the Mountain West on the map. So that's just good. And the competition is very tough now. What was it like hearing from Roddy Lott today? It was mind blowing. Um, he's just, it's just one of those guys that love football to that would die on the field. He he told us what he um he told us too much emotional stuff. I, everyone was like, what the heck? He over there about to cry and stuff. I felt like, but he's a great guy, and you can just tell his passion for the game is different. Chicago kind of said that you guys took a little bit from what he said yeah. into this game, and through being down in the fourth quarter, some of it kind of came back in your minds. Yeah, um, you just, he we used it as a spark. We talked to him today, so him talking to us on game day was a good one. He said he was getting really emotional. Yeah, it, you just tell. It's like he wanted to come on the field with us. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he, did, he didn't. It. We all knew about <laughs> it, but he talked. He just told us about it, and then we knew. But he added it in there.